The creation of jobs can help really support economic development within our urban communities. They say nothing stops a bullet better than a job. Traditionally, South Shore was a walkable community where you could walk to the cleaners, the movie theater. Every time we want to eat something healthy, we have to leave the community. Right now, we don't even have a grocery store. I personally grew up on the South Side and saw this exodus of small businesses in our communities. Pajani is a business that we started together to serve healthy eating via catering and restaurant. We're trying to facilitate healthy eating options so that we can address the health disparities in our community. To also bring job opportunities as well as, you know, being family friendly. We have to put our money where our mouth is and we have to be the solution. City had a risk appetite to fund a new micro lender. We'd not done it before. This was new to us. City was very instrumental in providing the necessary funding. They were our angel investors. Chicago Micro Lending Institute changed the ecosystem in Chicago. It allowed us to actually expand the reach of micro lending across Chicago from just one singular lender to other lenders who were interested in this space. We were a startup business, which already makes it challenging. And as a minority business, the odds were stacked against us. CNI has concentrated much of its development work within the Pullman neighborhood. Our microfinance group's reach is way beyond the Pullman neighborhood. Some of the neighborhoods where we've deployed loans are South Shore, Woodlawn, Auburn Gresham, Chatham, Bronzeville. We see the great work that they're doing in the communities, and we see the people that they're hiring. They were the original lender that believed in us when nobody else would. We knocked on a few doors that uh, wasn't going anywhere, and CNI was the first lender that said, we love what you're doing, we love your mission, your vision for the community, and we're here to help. We want to ensure that we're providing and empowering that business with tools necessary to survive and thrive. Bridging the gap for small businesses kind of starts with a person. People do business with people. Sometimes this is more than just looking at a balance sheet. Our organization's success stems from the fact that we really do care. We treat our businesses like family. Working with Erica King, she was a champion for Majani. And as we've gone through the peaks and valleys of needing more capital, needing more time, we made me feel comfortable that this was the partner that we needed to be with. Chicago Neighborhood Initiatives Microfinance Group has deployed nearly $1.5 million in microloans to over 87 businesses. 84% of those businesses are African-American entrepreneurs. The work that's been done here in the Pullman District, crime has dropped 50% as a result of the investment into the community. In the African-American community, historically, food has been at the epicenter of our culture. There is some connective tissue here between healthy eating, safe neighborhoods, housing, small business development. These all intersect in very, very powerful ways. The long-term goal of Majani is to bring quality, affordable, healthy cuisine to every neighborhood that needs it. This is one small step, but hopefully others will follow. Mm -hmm.